This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. This is a sponsored message. I've been using Anchor as my podcast host for a while now, and it's been a pleasure to use. Anchor offers benefits that most other hosts do not. It's free to use, but it also has a collection of tools that allow you to create a podcast completely within the Anchor website or smartphone app. They distribute your show to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other distribution channels without any additional effort on your part, and you can make money from your podcast without any minimum audience size. So you can use it as a more traditional podcast host like I do, but it's also got everything you need to start a podcast from scratch. If you're keen to give it a shot, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. It's Tuesday, October 18th, 2022. Let's talk about the news. From the Associated Press, China's Xi calls for military growth as Party Congress opens. China's long-anticipated Communist Party Congress, which happens every five years, kicked off on Sunday and will reportedly last for a full week. Already Chinese leader Xi Jinping, who is coming to the end of his second term in office and who is expected, defying tradition, to give himself a third term in charge of the country, has announced that his policies will remain largely unchanged for the next five years, that China won't rule out using its military to take control of Taiwan, and that the country needs to become more independent, especially in terms of its military capabilities. There will likely be more newsworthy happenings at this event before it finishes up next Sunday, but already Xi doubling down on his controversial COVID-0 approach to dealing with the pandemic and his commitment to a purification of sorts of the Chinese government and culture has some analysts wondering what it will mean for the country's already slumping economy and what that might mean in turn for the global economy, of which China is a vital component. From the New York Times, new UK finance minister drops almost all of tax cut plan. The UK's new finance minister, Jeremy Hunt, announced yesterday that most of the relatively new Prime Minister Truss's money-related plans, including a collection of tax cuts that proved to be wildly unpopular, were no longer on the table. Hunt made this announcement just three days after he was tapped to step in for the previous finance minister, Kwasi Kwarteng, who was fired because of an economic firestorm sparked by the now mostly defunct round of tax cuts. The response to that earlier announcement was a brutal collapse of the British pound's value against the dollar, a severely weakened stock market, and a bundle of admonitions from economic experts worldwide who questioned the wisdom of passing tax cuts meant to boost the British economy at the same moment the country's national bank was attempting to slow the economy to reduce surging inflation rates. It's unclear if this new, far smaller batch of policies will work, but the immediate response seemed to be positive in a lukewarm sort of way. And from The Verge, over-the-counter hearing aids are officially available. Purveyors of pharmaceuticals and electronics like Walgreens and Walmart can now legally sell some types of hearing aid over-the-counter in the United States, following an FDA rule change that came into effect yesterday. Previous FDA guidelines required a prescription to get hearing aids in the United States, and the hardware available once you got said prescription could cost thousands of dollars. This new rule allows folks with mild to moderate hearing loss to buy simpler versions of the same products for more like a few hundred dollars, though some fancier models, like a recently released pair offered by Sony, will cost closer to $1,000. So not cheap, but still quite a discount from those earlier options, and the market for this tier of hearing aid is expected to expand now that this rule change has come into effect. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.